Hello, this is Ardly Worth Watching and welcome back. Hope you've all had a really good weekend. And today I'm back on Ark Survival Evolved again. I'm going to be showing you how to build this sort of starter all purpose raft. So it's kind of a beginner raft, maybe the first sort of decent raft you build after this piece of rubbish. <coughs> so this will get you around the island the same as a normal raft. It also has some bonus features as well, like up here, extra space for all your teams and dinos to go so they're not cramping up the inside of the raft so and they can easily get up from the ramps here here and here and in here we have some storage some basic small storage boxes for you like quick access storage quickly go backwards and forwards getting stuff out of these without having to go inside and here you've got sort of an early game sort of starter base you've got your storage your refining forge your bed uh, there's a mortar and pestle smithy and a fire for cooking your food so there's some light and it's nice and open in here also and also uh, just to show you the raft performs just exactly how you would expect it you can move it around no problems at all so that's really all I've got to say about this so uh, I think with all that said I'm going to get straight into actually showing you how to build it so I'll start by just spawning the raft in so you can really only spawn it on land you've got to stand on land to spawn it but then just bring it out to somewhere that you've got fairly or good sort of depth of water underneath so you've got space to place everything because it can mess up a bit so once you're here the first thing what you want to start with is go into here hold E to drive you need to go down to options and hide sail because that makes the sail disappear so first we need to lower the foundations down underneath here so they are in line with it and it doesn't look messed up so uh, I'll show you how to do this now so first you need to get uh, your first wooden pillar and just get it so you're actually able to place it then you want to come back to here and once you can see E to drive here and that will place that in the middle and you can just about see where the sail was it needs to be in line with there just pull it towards you a little bit just so you can place it there and there we go you can come out of this because this is just giving you sort of a central point to place everything so you want to get your thatch foundation and put it just here right next to it because this is what's helped you place this so then you can hold this and get rid of it so because you are demolishing it you probably don't need as much as I said but that is just a rough amount so get your pillar again and this that thing you just placed then place the pillar directly in the middle of there nothing to it really then you want to get your foundation again and you want to place this next to it and this should eventually lower it into the floor during this process so then once you've done that get rid of this and this get your pillow out again in the middle like that so then thatch foundation place it there just like that and you basically ought to keep repeating this process so get rid of this get rid of this pillar in the middle like that and as we can see like the floor is like starting to go lower down now so and every time you place a piece of floor next to it then what you want to do is get rid of what's next to it so then you get your pillar again like that and here we go it's lowered it again so you can obviously see it's quite self-explanatory now what to do but I'm just going to take you through the whole thing just in case there's any confusion so the same like that thatch foundation again get rid of this and get rid of that I want to get the pillow again make sure that snaps in like that thatch foundation place that down and get rid of this and get rid of this make sure you put the pillar on again so back to the foundations so you might have to just mess around with it to get it to actually go down into it like that so get rid of it again it's basically quite a repetitive process but it does get you there in the end I think there is some other ways you can do this but this is just the way that I do it so let's make sure it snaps underneath 
seeing there it is now underneath and you shouldn't really have to do any more than that so if you just look at what I've got left I've got one pillar and got one foundation left so you do need roughly about 10 of each and it's best to keep them ones just for spares because you know things on arc they're not always that easy and it can go wrong quite quickly so always keep a few spares in with you as well so once you've got your thatch foundation lowered underneath now we can change all this into stone so first your first stone foundation and go next to this so it just snaps on like right next to it and there we go place it so then what you need to do is just carry on this same thing all the way around and if you notice that I am flying, you don't actually need to be able to do that to actually build the raft. You can do it all from standing on the raft or going in the water. So you want to carry on, putting this all the way around in the square like this. Your last one here, you see you just want to cover up that and then it will replace it. And obviously you also need to put them in the middle. So you want to go to whichever hot bar slot is in, go here, you can see it just sticking through and place it like that. So then you have your basic sort of shape. This one is slightly longer than the normal raft, so I'm now going to show you how to extend it now. So we get the thatch ceilings, what I mentioned earlier. First we'll start with the back here, and it will go green like that on the edge, it will snap on. I'm going to put three of these just on the back, like this. Yep, then you want to go over to this side, the opposite side, and you want to basically mirror what you've just done. So exactly the same. Three thatch ceilings. So for the next bit you are actually gonna have to go into the water. So just check there's nothing dangerous around if you are actually doing this in a normal world or whatever. So you can go down here. You want to put one of them there of them that one didn't quite face it's two and that's three then on the other side you also want to do the same thing so one there and one there and also there'll be one there as well but for some reason I've run out so I'm sorry for that so there'll be one just there as well so then you can get back onto it and you can actually delete all these ceilings now so get rid of that one we can you can get rid of all of them now these are no longer needed after this point so then after this we can actually start getting onto the sort of the structure of the inside of the raft now so now you actually need your wooden ramps and we're going to start to add the ramp onto the front of it. So get your ramps and place them on the front so make sure they do snap in correctly. It can be a little bit dodgy to place these but it takes a little bit of patience and it will eventually work. You might have to go off the raft or go into the water or whatever that you place it because this game likes to make it a bit of a pain. So let's just make sure places it can be a bit dodgy and temperamental at times but there we go so you want the three ramps on the front on the opposite side to where the driver's seat is or whatever you want to call it like that so now you want to start to build up the frame of it so let's place one of these there i think that is the slope wall left then on the other side you want to do it with the right one like that on each side so we have one there and there so then you need your slope ceilings and just uh, make a note yourself and tell yourself that these are different to the ramps because they are you can't use ramps it will not actually work because these are slightly different to the ramps they're a slightly different angle so this is my way of placing these easily go to here so you see it just snapping onto that side and just move your mouse over the same way once it's snapped like that then it should place as I said things can be a little bit dodgy to place so 
So what you can do, you can snap it on there. I'll try it this side. There, and then go. Sorry, this is taking a bit of a while. It can be quite difficult, so get that on there. There we go. That one snapped on there. Then you need to get the one on this side as well. And the sun on on the game today is really bright and I can't even hardly see. So So you just want to snap it onto this side basically. There we go, and then it will snap onto there. So that's sort of the start of your ramp and sort of begin to build up the inside now. So uh, now we're gonna get the walls, just the normal walls and make sure they do place the right way. This can be a bit of a faff to get right as well. This is why you should always bring all your spare materials. There we go, because what we want is so the inside part of the wall is facing in towards the rest of the raft. Let's see, uh, that's worked for that one as well. Like that. So now you've done that, you're gonna need to get your door frame. You should only need one of these for the whole build. Unless it does that, which it has, and it's placed it the wrong way. So you've got to be careful that it does actually place it the correct way. Because it can be a little bit dodgy, you see. It's done it again. So do make sure that you actually get that placed the correct way. So I haven't actually got any left, but just be aware that you need to get that the right way around. So now we've got that done. We can put the door in. This is obviously the wrong way, but you need to make sure yours is right. So once you've done that, yeah, that is about it for this little bit. So once you've done that, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to grab your walls again. So you wanna place one there. And you want to place one next to it, like this. And on top of the one you just placed, directly on top, place another one there. And all of these should be facing inwards, the same as the ones you placed before. So go over to the other side, do the same thing. So one here, the first place you can put it. You need to do one right next to that and then one on the top. It is a fairly symmetrical build this is, so basically whatever you do on this side, you need to do on that side as well. So you need to get your other sloped roof pieces, or sloped wall, and one there, and then I think this one should be the left, or the right, so yeah, right on this side, left on the other side. So that basically goes like that. Then you need to get some more wall pieces. And there's the next available space here. Put one there. And also put one there on the other side as well. So now you've done that, we're going to come back out here. So if you are walking around on this, you basically climb up here. And you want to fill this in with some more of these slope ceilings to fill the gap. So this all also can be a bit hard to place as well. There we go. Seems to be working this time. I would say then put that one here. Better to stand over this side to place this one. Like that. Then the middle one, there we go. It just snaps on just like that. So there you've got your ramp as well. So uh, for the ceiling on here, it is going to need some supporting pillars. So I'll come and place them down. So they need to be sort of at the back of the raft, or oh, they're right in the back corner. So you've got your driving bit here to go all the way back here and right to the corner. So it's basically right in the sort of back, sort of right corner, like this. Then on top of it, place one more pillar, then come over to the other side. It's also the same on this side, one there and one on the top. And the reason you place these first, because it stops you getting the top of the pillar sticking through the floor, because that does look pretty bad, you don't really want that. There's a lot of people that don't know how to do that, but that's why you place them first. So then you want to come back up here. Now you want to get your wooden ceilings. You're gonna need nine of these. So, let me get the first one. 
and place it just there then go forwards a bit place the next one and then forwards a bit on this one this one does tend to be kind of difficult to place it sometimes like that you see it ends up the wrong way but that doesn't really matter unless you're going for perfection so come over here and we get this one here it's, it's, it's only the end one that seems to mess up one place and I think it's because it's trying to snap onto this and the pillar I'm not 100% sure but I think it might be what causes it well that doesn't look too bad if they both end up like that anyway because it sort of doesn't affect the design or it doesn't affect the design at all it just looks a bit different like the beams of wood they're going across in another way so this one like that that and then one at the end as well see that doesn't look too bad like that so that is all your ceiling done so uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is actually put the stone railings all the way around this or you can also use wood if you prefer so you put one in the middle like that one just there then one next to it here and basically you just put these all the way around so you need nine for the top and you also need another five for the inside as well one there the other one which is actually on the wrong side so you don't want them here you want them around the outside and there's another one one there I should still have enough so you just want to put these all the way around it's sort of a bit of a safety barrier but it's not really to protect your dinos from other things it's just to you know stop things falling off and things like that so then you want to go inside and you also want to be placing a few more of these inside around the edge so I'll go in and do that so for the inside as I already said you're going to need five of these so place the first one just in the middle at the back here you want one here and also one on the other side just going around the edge and you should then just need one here and then also one for this side as well so uh, as far as like the basic sort of rough structure is confirmed that is it all done so now I'll just place in the other bits that are inside so you can copy this base if you want or come up with something completely different this is just the structure of the wrap and I'll just show you how to well, what, what I did for it so you've got your two smaller storage boxes so they can go in here and here one there on the other side make sure we close the door just underneath these little bits here or the sloped roof so you just want to place that just underneath like that so you've got one either side and that's that done so you can come in here now you want to get your refining forge your smithy that sort of thing I would recommend just putting them in all the hot bar slots now it will make it a lot quicker placing all the things you've got the mortar and pestle there so the bigger storage boxes and also I did put some torches on also give you a bit of light because it's always good to have a bit of light so there'll be some of them on the top and then some of them underneath as well so first I'll get the smithy and I'm going to place that here in the left corner this, you can't actually place this one that far into the corner which is kind of annoying it does have a bit of a gap there then you want to get your refining forge put that right into this corner far back as you can get it like that so then close the door so I put the mortar and pestle here just by the door just next to the smithy so then you've got the bed no not the campfire the bed sorry about that and I put this just here just next to the refining forge because it seems to fit into this gap pretty well so now for your large storage boxes they can go either side it doesn't really matter but I'll put mine on this side so you want to get as close to the wall as you can it's making tiny little movements just to get the right like that then you can place your other one here 
or you can do it on the other side you can do a combination of anything place one there so you've got your storage here so you can easily get from your storage to your forge to your smithy so then I'll get my campfire so this is for cooking your food put that just there so then for the torches you put one just here so in between the pillars get one and I'll put one here just in front of the smithy and also there will be some on the other side as well where did I put them there they are so there's one just here on the opposite side to the other one near the forge so then you want to go outside and you just want to place a couple more of these outside so so you could place one just here in the middle on the left and then one in the middle on the right as well so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I hope you enjoy building this and I hope it helps you in your travels around the map whichever map you choose so I think that's about all I've got time for today so I hope you enjoyed watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so with all that said goodbye and I'll see you next week